really important foundation for kids so that when they come to school, they're ready to learn. And you know, right now, uh, really only about a third of the kids who, who use this in Pennsylvania uh, actually have access to high quality pre-K programs, private or public, subsidized or unsubsidized. That's a problem because the children who participate in high quality pre-K programs, am I telling you something you already know here? <laughs> I am. You gotta keep in mind that a lot of people don't know this. That if we have a good base, and kids come to school, they perform better in school. Mm -hmm. They read uh, uh, at, at a higher level. They read at actually grade level by the time they get to third grade. I'll point, talk about that in a minute. That's really important. They graduate at higher rates, and the early indications are, when we're still studying all this, that they do better through life. They have higher incomes. Mm -hmm. All that happens based on what happens really early on in, in, in life. So this is important. High quality pre-K helps close the educational gap. There's a learning gap that exists because different kids come to school, in different communities, different families, with different abilities to learn, with different readiness to learn, I should say, not ability. And you tap into that. You actually make sure that, that kids get to kindergarten or first grade ready to learn. That gap exists, and we can do a lot of things in K through 12 to reduce that gap, but the best thing we can do is invest in early childhood education. That eliminates that gap. And again, when we get to third grade, um, what do we, I think what statistics, if, if someone is not reading at grade level by the time they get to third grade, pretty good chance they're gonna end up in prison. We don't want that. We really don't want that. So the early childhood education really can make a difference in so many important ways, not only in the lives of the children, but also uh, in terms of, of, uh, of our society and our economy. Second, so it's effective. That's the first thing. The second thing is, and this, you need to sell it. It's inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mean to, to talk about uh, the, the, I'm not talking about what we should pay you. We should pay you a lot more than we're paying. But even if we do that, yeah. <laughs> it is still a much more cost-effective investment than anything we do later on in life. I mean, think of the lab laboratories we have to pay for when you get into high school, for example. And, and the facilities that we need. 